After days of protesting, a big goal reached for those demanding more accountability and transparency. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plake is live at the plaza. And Sarah, this is our seventh night of demonstrations calling for more change. What are you seeing? <laughs> I'm at 30th and Main. I'll step out here at the park where a lot of these protesters have been gathering here. You see with their signs and still uh, making a stand and still protesting out here. We heard from a group of protesters that uh, another group is heading up to City Hall. Now, we've seen these protests uh, demanding police accountability and body cams was a huge part of that outcry. And it seems it finally may happen. The DeBruce Foundation donated two and a half million dollars to the Kansas City Police Department to buy body cameras. This is coming after a lot of outcry. I frankly believe that if you don't have anything to hide, you shouldn't worry about the body cam in, in, in regards to privacy. But the department is still working out how many cameras they'll get, which company will provide them, what type, and how to roll out the process. What you'll be looking for is one that has a is, is as good a clear resolution for the picture as possible and has good sound. Um, you'll also be looking at reliability and some of those kinds of things. John Hamilton, associate professor of criminal justice at Park University and former Kansas City police officer, says the success will depend on expectations. He thinks there should be a community group working together with the police during the rollout so there aren't any questions when something goes wrong. Both sides can learn about these at the same time. The police will be learning about operation and how they work and uh, those kinds of things. The community can, can look and see what kinds of pictures do you get? What will it pick up? What won't it pick up? Hamilton and Mayor Quentin Lucas acknowledge this will not eliminate police brutality. We see, and in fact, that's what our protests largely around America are about right now, that visual images alone perhaps don't change policing and haven't changed all of the situations of potential misconduct. So we recognize it as just a tool, but one that certainly is important. Brad Lemon, FOP president, says they welcome the body cams. There's been a lot of national studies by uh, the FOP and other places that this show that 98% of all police, all complaints against police officers are thrown out as a result of the body cam. I don't want this to be seen as a babysitter. Um, if that's what it's going to be used for, then there are, there are deeper issues involved. The police department still needs funding for training, data maintenance, and to keep the body cam program working and functioning. The city and KCPD are having conversations right now about where they could get that money. On the plaza, I'm Sarah Plake, 41 Action News.